victims of human rights violation. Next to him, you have Mr. Sirif Kijera, who is also a board, is a board member and the chair of the board of directors of the Victim Center. I am Mr. Adam Ajalo. I am the national coordinator of the Victim Center. And Binta Baji, of course, is the admin and finance of the Victim Center. And then we have two representatives of the Victim you have Honorable Kemesen, Yame, Yame, I think all of you know him. And then you have Mr. Bojang, who is also a victim. So without uh, much uh, taking much of your time, we know you are also very busy and you have a busy schedule today. Um, you've been called upon because of one reason or the other. And the main reason why we are we call the press and we, we are very happy that um, we have quite a number of the press also here and we want to thank you for that. Our main reason for being here today is it's on two folds. One of them is the, 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 the reason why Adam Abaro, His Excellency Adam Abaro, um, nominated two um, individuals to be um, the, the speaker and also the deputy speaker. Babakari Tombonjata, who whom most of you have known was perhaps was one time working with the former dictator Yaya Jame, and he is now brought back as the speaker. And of course, Sidi Yai, we all know what he has did in the in past. He was also a minister briefly during the Yaya Jame era. He is also brought back as the deputy um, speaker of the National Assembly. Yes, of course, um, it's a concern for the victims. Why is it a concern? Because um, we are very, very worried that perhaps the TRC report and recommendation that is uh, currently on the table of the president, whether they are going to issue a very comprehensive um, white paper that would um, satisfy the victim. So that is why we are worried. Worried because in the sense that Fabakari, um, all of you, some of the journalists have interviewed him recently and he said he has always kicked against the TRRC report. We know when the TRRC was um, in process, in progress, he said he is not in agreement with the TRRC, and he still have the belief that the Ayah Jame did not cause any atrocities. So that is worrying, because if you have that kind of a person whose mind set in, on that in terms of still supporting Yaya Jame, and you bring him back as a, as a speaker, he would not support anything that would have to go against Yaya Jame, especially when it comes to the TRRC recommendation. Of course, CD also played a crucial role during the uh, 2016 election, and that was what has led to the impasse. So these are the reasons why we have called you as journalists and also as representatives of different CSOs and also uh, victims, so that we can um, hear the, the, the chairman of the board of directors to read a letter which was written to the head of state to inform him of our dismay, our dissatisfaction, and concerns. So perhaps before I waste most of the time, I would want to call Mr. Sirif um, to say to, to read the, 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 the letter that was addressed to the head of state. So, Thank you, Adama. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and members of the Board of Directors of the Gabi Center for Victims of Human Rights Violation. I'm the National Coordinator and the staff of the Secretariat of the um, Victim Center. Honorable um, Kemese Jami, who is also a victim, he is, where, he is there with us. Um, you have Mr. Abdullah Bojan who is also a victim, and he is also here with us. Um, you have um, Ida Marita Eke, who has been quite a generous philanthropist and has been supporting the Victim Center, is also here with us. And then Mari Jobate also is here with us, um, a leading human rights activist in this country. And you have Mr. Yusef Taylor, he is from Team Gom Sabopa. He is also here with us to show solidarity with the victims. Um, I have a statement that I'm going to read. That is the letter 
that uh, we, the victim center sent to His Excellency the President of the Republic. And um, here I read. The letter is addressed to His Excellency Adam Abaro, President of the Republic of the Gambia. Um, Your Excellency, letter to the President of the Republic of the Gambia on the nomination of Faba Karito Monjata as Speaker and sitting S. Kenjai as Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly. Mr. President, it is with deep shock and a painful feeling of betrayal that the Gambia Center for Victims of Human Rights Violations, known as the Victim Center, came to learn of your nomination of Fabakari Tombonjata and Sidi Eskenjai as members of the National Assembly. Even worse is to realize that you have identified them to be the Speaker and Deputy Speaker, which came to pass on the first day of sitting of the sixth legislature on 14th April 2022. We are hugely concerned with your nomination of these two individuals, as they do not only represent the brutal dictatorship the country endured for 22 years, but they were also key pillars of the power behind the tyranny of former President Yahya Jame. Since 1997, Fabakari was a member of the National Assembly until 2017, half of which period he served as the majority in strengthening dictatorship as lawmakers who failed to provide constitutional oversight as well as legal reforms necessary to prevent and and hold accountable perpetrators of human rights violations under the APRC regime. Rather, they deliberately and actively reneged on constitutional duties of holding the executive accountable, but instead decide to aid and abate tyranny which had consumed the life of scores of Gambians, including your own colleagues, while you were part of the opposition. In essence, Fabakari and Sidinjai provided to Jame in the legislature what the junglers did for him in the security sector. Mr. President, the day Fabakari and Sidi were installed as the National Assembly leaders, it coincided with the sixth anniversary of the murder of your former political ally, Solo Sande. Your election on 1st December 2016 was a direct offshoot of the protest that Solo and your compatriots led at Westfield for which they were brutally crossed, so much so that Solo and several others never lived to enjoy the freedom you and the rest of fellow Gambians celebrate today. Hence the nomination and election of Fabakari and Siri as Speaker and Deputy Speaker respectively is a moral indictment of your leadership and a manifestation of gross betrayal of the Gambian nation and in particular, your very allies. Solo Sandeng, Solo Kuruma, Ibrahim Asise, Langmarong, Lamin Dambudiba, who died and many others who continue to live in terrible pain and misery today due to torture. In this April, we recall in 2000, when Jame ordered the massacre of Gambian children, these crimes among many all constitute the unaccountable instances in which Fabakari and Sirinjai should have stood up as lawmakers to check the executive at the time, but failed to do so. Their failure, together with their colleagues, was the fundamental reason that violations of human rights of human rights became the order of the day in the Gambia. Hence, to bring back these two individuals into the people's house and at the highest level indicates your lack of political will to ensure justice for victims and your deliberate attempt to bring back dictatorship. This is because it is obvious from their track record that Fabakari and Sidi will never ever hold you also as president accountable should you decide to also disregard the constitution and flout the rule of law and violate the rights of Gambians with impunity as Yahya Jame did. In essence, Mr. President, by nominating these individuals in the People's House, in the case your total rejection of the never again mantra and dishonoring the lives of your fallen colleagues and trampling upon the dignity of Gambians,
as a whole. Mr. President, the victim's community is hugely concerned and worried by your decision, not only because Fabakari and Sidi were foremost in rejecting your election, hence the verdict of the people in support of Jame in 2016, but as he sat in the chair of the Speaker on the very day of assuming that high office, Fabakari Tombong Jata remains unrepentant, unapologetic, and antagonistic as he expressed his total support for Jami. He demonstrated his total disregard for accountability and national unity as he demands the unconditional return of Yaya Jami. He went further to tell the world that he is willing and ever ready to reject the draft constitution 2020 once again. In his entire interview with the media, Fabakari did not even spare a second to mention the atrocities of the past or show any form of remorse, care, and concern for the victims. While we express our concern and disappointment with your decision, we are, however, not surprised. Since assuming office in January 2017, the victims' community has always found it difficult to receive your attention and sympathy. It is only once that they visited you at State House in 2018. As we live with, the, with that feeling of neglect by you, we watch with even bitter shock how you went forward to forge an alliance with the APRC. Not only did you refuse to disclose the terms of that, of that alliance to the public, but you, you also went further to visit Jamis' family home in Kanilai. What we could deduce, therefore, is that you abandoned victims and embraced perpetrators when it was those victims that gave you the presidency. Hence, the nomination of Fabakari and Siri is part of a consistent pattern of your lack of political will and commitment to transitional justice and care for victims. Mr. President, in your heart of hearts, do you truly believe your decision to nominate these two individuals is in the best interest of the Gambia. Are you willing and bold enough to invite the mothers of the victims of April 10 and 11 or the children of Veda Haider, Haruna Jame, Solo Sandeng, and the families of Ibu, Ibu Job and Mahmoud, Mahmoud Sise, among other victims, to face them to justify this decision? Have you taken time to reflect on why and how you became president of the Gambia? Did you forget the past from which the Gambia came and what were the aspirations of the people as they voted for you? In your 2016 manifesto, you promised to ensure transitional justice and accountability for the violations of the past. How do you reconcile that agenda with the nomination of Fabakari and Siri today as leaders of the highest organ of the state? We may not be able to remove this individual from this noble house, but rest assured that the most Gambians hold that Fabakari and City lack the moral, legal, and political legitimacy to be in this position. Their presence shall be, their presence in the National Assembly is a dishonor to the honorable house, and it shall be regarded as such so long as they walk within the walls of the Assembly. Fabakari and Sidi shall always be remembered as undesirable citizens of, who unleash intolerable trauma on Gambians as they plunge this country into a nerve-wracking political impasse that nearly threw our motherland into flames. It is therefore with utter shock that you would find no Gambians worthy of this high office other than Fabakari Tombonjata and Sidi SK Njai. Mr. President, be informed that we, the victims of human rights violations of Yahya Jami feel deeply hurt and betrayed. We are deeply concerned that as we await your white paper on the TRRC report, this nomination make us doubt if we will ever get justice. It is obvious that our speaker, Fabakari, will not provide the necessary leadership and support to the implementation of your white paper or the TRRC report itself, simply because Fabakari and Sidinjai have glaringly showed that they are auto disdain for the TRRC and the entire transitional justice process. It is on record 
that Fabakere has led the APRC since 2016 to actively and vigorously reject this credit and ridicule the TRRC and every other effort, institution or individual, including your former Minister of Justice, Abubakar Tambiru, who seek to bring justice for victims of Yaya Jami. <clears throat> How, therefore, could you nominate such a person to lead the main body that ultimately bears the primary responsibility of making laws, approving budgets, and scrutinizing institutions that are responsible for the implementation of the TRRC report? Mr. President, we consider your nomination of these two individuals to be grossly irresponsible and poor leadership that can only further divide Gambians, hence endanger the peace and stability of this country. The norm in the civilized world is that countries that underwent armed conflict or authoritarian rule forced on are the truth about the violations that happened and then ensure accountability leading to reparations, reconciliation, and reforms. It has never been the case that key perpetrators of violation would be rewarded with high political office, even when the truth is not yet fully unuttered. Mr. President, we wish to put, put it, it, we wish to put it to you that Fabakari Tombonjata and Sirinjai are perpetrators, even if they did not physically torture and kill. They did not have to do that. Rather, they provided the greatest support for the torturers and killers by failing to hold the president and, and his henchmen accountable, which power they had but decided to willfully neglect. They provided not only cover up for these crimes by their silence, but also legalized and legitimized, legitimized these crimes with the creation of or amendment of laws such as the Indemnity Act 2001 and the Public Order Act 2009 and others. Hence the, hence the role that Fabakari and Sidinjai played in the massive human rights violations of their regime is far greater than the junglers who were indeed the actual torturers and killers. Mm -hmm. What we expect is that Fabakari and Sidinjai should rather face justice for their negligence of duty which cost lives and not to reward them, hence entrenching impunity. As we register our disappointment and disagreement with your decision, we wish to emphasize that we remain committed to the Transitional Justice Program and hereby urge you to ensure that the TRRC report and recommendations are effectively implemented in transparent, inclusive, and efficient manner. We will spare no effort to ensure that these objectives are met. In the service of the nation, I remain Signed, Sheriff Mohammed Kijara, Chairman, Board of Directors, Victim Center. Thank, thank you all. Thank you very much, uh, Sirif. Uh, well spoken and well read. I think all of us are testimony of what we have had. I mean, these are not new stories. These are not stories. These are things that have happened in this country. You and I know what had happened during the 22 years of Yaya Jami. And I also want to re-emphasize the fact that many a times when the Victim Center comes out to clarify issues and talk, people regard us um, as sight lighting uh, one or two political parties. We are non-political party. We don't support any political party. Yes, individually you may have parties that you support, but here what, what, what concerns us is the state, is the country, is the Gambia that we see. Fabakari Tombong and Sidi Njai are human beings and are Gambians, we know that. We, we all interrelate as Gambians, we discuss as Gambians, we don't dislike them, but what we dislike is their attitude, what they have done during the 22 years of Yaya Jami. It has caused pain. It has, uh, it has disintegrated family. It has affected people who have worked for so many years in government. So in essence, what we are saying as an institution and as a platform that try to advocate for justice and amplify the voices of the victim center, uh, of, the vo uh, of, of the victims. So we are making it clear and crystal to the head of state and to his supporters that 
we cannot reverse the decision that he has done, but we are Gambians and we can still uh, put our ideas and, and, and our voices across. It's, 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 it's democracy, we, we have the right to speak, our right to say what we feel. What we felt is that these two people, there are many Gambians that the president could have um, 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 chosen. But taking these two people is trying to um, re-traumatize victims. And it has re-traumatized some of our victims because we have seen the, 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 the problems that it has caused since day one when these two people were, were nominated to, to, to the, to, to the um, parliament. So to cut the story short, um, we, we are trying to inform Gambians that it's a concern for us. And more recent is because of the TRRC recommendation because we felt that these two people, since they are, if they are still within the parliament, they can influence the decision change. So that is the reason why we are making our voices heard. So we want to thank each and everyone. And perhaps if anyone wants to add fellow and others, or a, or a victim who wants to talk, Mr. Bojan, the floor is here. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Yes, sorry. Uh, it is a very sad moment for us to come and congregate here. Uh, the chairman have said it all. People were disappointed the way and manner the head of state is conducting his affairs. Parliamentarians were rightfully elected, but the cream of the parliament doesn't have any sugar. The creams on top doesn't hold water. Uh, these two guys, as stated by my colleagues here, I label them as circumstantial perpetrators. If they are doing their acts behind, we may not be knowing that. But these people came out. When Barrow was elected, Fabakari was the one who ordered or who took the bill to the House for them to implement 90 days emergency period. Those moments, so many people suffered, those who are trying to vacate the Gambia. Moreover, Sirinjai, who was telling the nation over the media that Barrow must not swear in the Gambia. I was very much disappointed when TRRC was set up till the end of it without seeing Adam Barrow on the other side and Sirinjai at the other side. The, the nation wanted to hear from Sidi. Why should Adam Barrow not swear in the Gambia? I haven't heard that. I used to write it on Facebook. I was disappointed personally. We want to hear from these people. At the same time, why should the president allow to connive with Sidinjai? He told us at one of his gatherings that Fabakari was the one who initiated APRC to come on board. That's their business. But when people elected their parliamentarians, we expect the cream of the parliament to be perfect. Nobody should have a query about it. I'm not blaming the president. I'm blaming the advisors of the president. Who are the guys advising the president? It is very wrong. And what we have observed also, uh, we went on election on the 9th of April. The results came out on the 10th of April and the 11th of April. People were jubilating on the streets whilst others are mourning their death. Is this right? If Adam Barrow's son was killed on April 10th, we are not going to hold election on those days. I know he will not do that. Why is he doing it now? Is he trying to provoke us? 
This is serious. I blame the advisors. I better stop up here. Kijera and my colleagues have said it all. Even if we check on Solo Sunday's death, the date of his death, it coincides with government's occasion. This is very unfair. We are observing them. And I know one day, Adam Abaro must face Sidinjai to tell the nation, for uh, Sidinjai to explain to us why should Adam Abaro not swear in the Gambia. The nation wanted to know. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Bojan. Thank you. We have First of all, I want to express my gratitude this, to this institution for creating this opportunity to inform the Gambians what has really happened. It is a very relevant uh, decision to face the nation and uh, um, uh, express our disgust for what has happened as far as uh, the appointment of Fabarki Jarta and uh, others are concerned. I happen to be one of the victims of the Ajame. In fact, in 1997, I was nominated while, while I was detained in the prison. But I was a detainee and not a convict, so I was nominated as, an, as a candidate. And I contested the election in prison and won while I was in prison. So I also was a parliamentarian. I happened to be, my, to be the minority leader, and Fawakari was the majority leader for Ajame. So uh, it is very surprising for President Alan Barrow to take this decision to appoint such a person who is to answer so many questions as these human rights violations are concerned. But uh, as the saying goes, birds of the same feather flock together. It is a very wrong decision to appoint a man like Fabakatumu Jata and a sitting jai to this position. <coughs> so um, it is very unfortunate and it goes very badly for this country. So I want to thank the um, uh, chairman of the victim centre to, to create this opportunity so that we can talk to the Gambian people about uh, um, uh, this very unfortunate situation, the direction that the government has taken, there should be an action to reverse this, this decision. So I thank this institution for creating this opportunity um, so that uh, the Gambians and the world as a whole can be told what really has happened. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Honorable. Uh, thank you. You've said it all. Mm. You have, we have a gift to the mostly wife of the late Solo Sande. Um, he will be the last person to speak. He will talk in Mandinka. Salam alaikum. Mon mari, 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 mon mari
Nous sommes les Kéri, président Adam Abaro, à une journée. Nous sommes les Kéri, nous sommes les Kéri. 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 Nous sommes les Kéri, nous sommes Jol dulu musol lagi. Dengan kefa ta, yang kefa yang dengan bentol lagi. Dengan musol betul mandu mandu. Jadi ngah mera ku, kami expect ni. Ada mau baru yang tu nyaf kita. Kalau landi dulu, kalau sendi dulu atau kalau landi dulu atau nyabu betar la damen tu. Barikan kumbon dekotek. Fon hakilu fon benih misalan nama mula saya la. Mau mera nanti. Papa ker fon bonjar. Anin si dingja ini. Ya mana jalo jalo semua berforum aku, aku mana telefon orang, kantong aku kesun orang lepa. Ni antara wal mini yang aku wal le order di puri yang telah mula far, yang telah mula bute, yang telah mula lanjut. Paul besi ni orang lepa tak kenal waktu ni aku bang. Ada mau baru fang. Ni antara nu, banyak yang kalau kita lihat ni antara nu, ya fatu balik fanu. Wara ya ding ke wamin be Amerika, kerang oleh oleh fanu. Wara la ding ding mesang oleh babu oleh oleh fanu. Wara baru musuh mengai korda sami je na. Kau ni anda fandom ini jalan kamera buku kal magam bela pola aku nak kantor tu ya ni antara oleh fanu forbidden atau malah terneba last time ini kalau oleh baru nak ada madu ini lebih biru kalau sesama saya punya mira kuning kalau nak utam dikali baru sebiji bini sama lebih biru kalau sesama saya baru ini last time ini laku dunia ini dik justice setaman ni ada mabar hotel. Si dinja ni ulmi ngai landi landi ni dulu lah, mimi alam kau kontrol lah jauh sistem mandi lah. Kata mama mira kau tak kontrol lah wataru bebai lah. Nsi dinja ni ulmi ngai dulu lah. Kata wala kau kontrol lah wala itu itu efang atau efang sorol lah. Efang atau kau ni aku lepas ye. Woto ngami dani wala mko. Bemi dani la dunia bulu. Nih sembeti ul bulu nih tonya ti ul bulu. Wala mko. Si dinja ni ulmi bondi ni dulu lah. Kata ni kata ni 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 Kau ni mana ada mabaru balafa? Hanya bi, ada mabaru ni solo lekat tanu, ada mabaru ni solo lekat kujama tu, ada mabaru ni solo lekat politik parti kiri. Biar solo fani bi tema solo di death house, ada mabaru dalam bilah di death house. Ada si ada si yang nyabet ini death house lah. Ami miraku, atau fani yang tak fani. Ami miraku solo di dalam betala jail. Ami miraku solo di bawah lah. Minta kan saya wujud jangan cara alam baru ya kan, kita nak aku kan ada problem mau bayar file, alam baru aku fenta bulan bentuk mana file ni mana? Allah. Antara yang info, adun aku itu mana? Adun mantra panya aku lah. Nak nak cara yang info mana ke tu ni ada alam baru ngada ni ayam suku kot ni tanda aku lah. Insya Allah file sini suka dah apa? Ini orang kata je. Walaupun nak cara yang tetap baca aku no, hari saya minta ngol bersofa lah, beli baca aku no, file ni mungkin dulu. Walaupun ni mungkin justice ni nak nyam tu ayat ayat dina. Saya ni kalau sambal tu, saya merau lepas saya. Tapi ni nyon, ni nyon, ni nyon, ni nyon. B, ada yang baru nyol bes kordal tali B. Talan talan nak minister ke? Mami ni alam kau memang batalon. Emang tera batari. Nol bijan mami ni alam kau ya. Jangan melam government nol fa ke nyol fa terjele, nol fa nyol fa terjele, nol dingol tu terjele. Ibu luas allah hani saya. Muna tin nama ama allah nyantul tim mandi. Fok kata kata hari B kata nyantul. Allah nyantul busin hani saya. Walau mungkin kencing sedih ni ni. Faba kertom banjata kau sendi wadu tu, walaupun dia rata busu tak aku tak kaya bude. Tua mal minat tu naji ye fa, walaupun wadu cat pun tak kuki ni, ni saya kau fali ye. Ko, lumba men na ini lu appoint. Biarin daddy ni alam mama aku nunda nunggu lu fata. Kau sekarang min feel hari saya, walaupun benda la. Kita silam balok kerja kerja. Kijo kampar. Benda men suntai wadu lengan kalau muka baringan munda fula lebi suntai aku nunggu fanya. Kuman domor ke kotak eh, anim bija mangan lah, nabe la, nala le, ni wuli tak nabe wuli la le. For do wuli nyantak ya lebar, dunia mul, for le nyantak ya. Kota sering jaya nyuluk kata nyuna, ye Beijing ni, betul sura tak wuli. Maka pada justice setama, intema, ni nyantak ya la wek. Masalah. Thank you very much, madam. We've all had unfortunate stories. I mean, these are the similar stories that would emerge from all the victims, if you ask me. Because um, yeah, I can tell you that old wounds have been op reopened. Um, people have been re-traumatized when they heard the news that um, Sidinjai and uh, Bakat Komanjata have been selected or nominated as, as national assignment. Because these are key positions. Now, if you look at the hierarchy, 
in the executive, going down to the legislative. But that Babakari Tomo was that position. So anything can happen. If anything happens, Babakari can bounce back. So these are the these are the concerns of Gambians and concerns of victims and concerns of CSOs. And that is why we will still question, like the honorable member mentioned. The questions should be asked to Fabakari Tombong and Sidinjai. There are many questions for them to answer. So I, I, I think I, I want to call on Tilo to give a solidarity um, statement on behalf of CSOs. Thank you. Um, thank you very much. Um, my name is Yusef Taylor, all the media here, and we've heard from the victims. I'm speaking on behalf of my civil society organization, civil Team Gomsa Baba. I'm also speaking as a concerned citizen and on my own conscience as well. As a young person, I think we young people are part of this country and we also have a say in what happens in this country. It is our future that is being built right now. We know what past we have had for 22 years and we know what future we deserve as young people. And if we don't have a say in that, it will not be a future that our children will also be proud of. We want to send us a message to the government, to the executive in particular. Um, nominations have a special purpose. Nominations serve a special purpose in the National Assembly. It is not meant for entrenchment. It is not meant for the president to entrench himself. It's meant to um, provide for the needy people, people who are most maligned in society, victims, persons with disability, young people like myself. Skill sets that are missing in the National Assembly that will serve this country. That is what minority, uh, that is what the nominations, nominated um, members are for. Mr. President, we as concerned citizens, when we read your statement shortly after the parliamentary elections, we believed you were on a quest to unify this country. And we accepted your speech and your statement. It entered into our hearts. We felt you would do the needful. We felt perhaps your meetings at Senegal had taught you how to engage the opposition, how to reconcile this country, which is what this country needs, Mr. President. And so we urge you. We know you cannot. We know you cannot recall these nominated members. We know you also have decisions to make for your cabinet. Consider the victims. Consider the young people. Consider the less privileged in society. Now we have a National Assembly which doesn't have a space for anybody with a disability. Is this representative of the people, of the Gambian people? Mr. President, you nominated three women in 2017, and now you've nominated only two. So um, we are certainly in solidarity with the victims. We believe the Gambian people voted for a change. Mr. President, when you promised a new constitution after winning the elections, we believed it. But you have selected, you have nominated Fabakari Tombong Jata, who marched to the Ministry of Justice and called the TRRC a rubbish paper, a toilet paper. And what about the Constitution, too? Already been stated. Finally, Mr. President, we want to highlight that you have promised before the elections that you will stamp out citizens going out to protest public assembly. 
and you have made good on that promise, Mr. President. You cannot, we as civil society, condemn that. The space for citizens to express their concerns must be available. And if you continue to shut down that space, it will not end well. So we as um, concerned citizens, me myself as a young person, as a representative of a civil society organization, we fully condemn the appointment of Fabakari Tombang Jata and we will go further to ask them to resign and step down and do the, moral, the morally right thing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Patino. Um, when well, I think this brings us to the end. Should in case you have one or two questions that you want to ask, we are ready to clarify them. listening to the various victims, family members, I'm left wondering why should this happen with Gambia? We all knew what happened. And still some people are in denial. Some are making the victims uh, issue like a political football. I think this is too serious. It's about justice. It's about uh, trying to know what happened. We all knew the injustice, the various loads of injustice that happened in this country from, let's say, 1994 to date. So, um, like I said, I commend the Victim Center for the important role they are playing. Because for far too long, victims' families uh, have been tortured psychologically. Because if you kill somebody's breadwinner, you kill somebody's husband, you kill somebody's dad, and you think you can go and sleep, with, you know, with a free, uh, or with a, with, uh, what can I say? You go and sleep. I think. It's high time, like I said, the issue of um, victims is devoid or is deterred from partisan politics. Finally, the question I want to ask is, uh, where do we go from here, the Victims Center? I heard Mr. Kijera reading out the mail to President Barrow, uh, and I'm not convinced that Barrow will do anything. He will never reverse his decision. You can quote me, or you can check in history, so many things inconsistent. So for me, I think the whole issue appointing Fabakar Tombo Yata and Sidi, it's a mockery of justice. It's a mockery of our democracy. So unless we, we clarify this, uh, it's, it's really sad. So the question is, where do we go from here? With your protest note, I, I think maybe the president has read your protest note or whatever. But action, because we need action. We can't just be making political statements with the issue of victims. TRRC, we all knew, did at least a bit in trying to discover what happened. Now the truth is known, but some people are afraid to make sure uh, justice takes its course. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Momodou Lamin Diete. I represent Pan-African News Agency, pan Press. Uh, we, uh, we are headquartered in Dakar, and it's a communication wing of the former OAU, now AU. So I, I work for uh, pan Press. I represent them. Thank you so much. Um, th thank you, Mr. Jaita. Um, yes, um, thank you for that contribution. Well, um, when you want to take action, you start from you start from one step, then the other. Um, 
today we have written to the president to express our concern, our disappointment with regards to the nomination of both uh, Prabhakari Tom Manjata and Sirinjai as uh, speaker and deputy respect respectively. Um, there will be other actions that will follow. We will organize a peaceful march to the National Assembly to demand the resignation of both Sirinjai and Fabakari Tombonjata. And also we will we will be engaging the National Assembly members. We will engage them to lobby their support. I mean the, they can also do what their constitutional I mean the powers give them. I'm sure there are provisions I mean that can um, dislodge these two I mean the um, people I mean the, from their position. So uh, we will continue the engagement with the National Assembly, I mean, the members. I mean, uh, we will work towards organizing a peaceful march to demand the resignation of both Faba Kriton Manjata and, and Sirinja. Now, with regards to the victims, um, you have diverse um, victims that were affected during the Jame era, um, victims from different, I mean, the, um, forms of violations, I mean, uh, from various political groups. I mean, uh, it just happens that um, um, uh, what transpired during the um, 2016 elections, I mean, uh, um, the, 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 the protests led by Mr. Solo Sandeng and his compatriots, I mean, that set the, I mean, the tone, I mean, the, for, 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 for the change that, that, that we have um, in 2016. It, it brought together all political parties. I mean, the, a sea change, I mean, uh, in our political sensibility that usher, I mean, to uh, a new democratic dispensation. So um, you have diverse victims that were affected during the Jame era. We at the Victim Center give opportunity to each and every victim to be heard, and we take care of all of them irrespective of which political grouping they are from. So we, we have covered from, we cover uh, the various thematic areas of human rights violations from enforced disappearances to extrajudicial killing, gender and sexual based violence, you know, the witchcraft victims, the IIJMS, unlawful presidential treatment program, the victims that were affected. You know, we have diverse victims, I mean, the, I mean that, 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 were, that are part of the victims uh, center. So um, it, is, it is not based on party political affiliation. We are a politic. I mean, I mean we, we don't have support any political party. So I mean, the, I think that is clear. Um, but um, rest assured that um, we will take further actions um, to engage um, the authorities constructively to see how we can you know, come out from this um, unfortunate um, situation. Th thank you. I'm so is there any date that is set for this uh, protest? Um, we are doing further consultation. This is not just about the victim center. We are going to collaborate with other CSOs and other victims-led organizations. I mean, to come together as a united front. I mean, to confront the menace to our 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 our, our current situation. I mean, the, when the date is, I mean, the confirmed, we will communicate to the to the media and the general public. Yes, thank you. Any other question? No. You have copies copies of the speech. Well, the speech um is is sent to all the media group. If at all you don't receive one, you can give us your email 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 account. Then uh, we will send you. We forward the speech. Thank you. Okay, we want to take this opportunity to thank you all very much for coming. Sorry. Um, we are thanking all of you for this invitation, and I believe we will join you in ensuring that um, 
We are working with victims and we know what victims are facing. In fact, the lady already highlighted that it will be difficult for them to come out. If, because if you are not secure, how will you be able to come out and talk to the public? And how will they receive um, reparations? So this is really on fault and it, it, we must stand in solidarity to avoid this. Even though President wants to stick to the fact that he has the right to appoint um, Speaker and De Deputy Speaker, morally grand, we are saying no to this because victims are affected and victims are not satisfied with this. Secondly, um, I just want to make a request if we can have a copy of the letter that you sent to the um, President. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. That is the cease from the week. I mean, the, the, we have a, a very strong collaborate, collaborative I mean, the mechanism in place with the other victims-led organizations. We work in partnership, we work closely because we have a, a single goal, a unique goal, that is to achieve the justice for all the victims. So we are all in this thing together. Um, the, the speech will be made available as soon as possible when we I mean, end this I mean, the event. Thank, thank you for your contribution. Thank you so much. Uh, any any other question? Yeah, uh, Mr. from AFP and also RFI. Um, like based on what happened at the National Assembly, these nominations, uh, what are the chances today for you that we finally get these people in court in the Gambia some day in the future? Well, um, I think we should come together as Gambians to have a, a united voice, we should speak one voice as Gambians. The nomination of uh, both Fabakari and Sidi, it does not just affect the victims, it's the entire Gambia. Morally, it is wrong. I mean, these people, I mean, have been aiding and abetting, you know, to the, be, be, be joining the courtesy of, of Yaya Jami. I mean, the, whatever happens during Jami's era affected every single Gambia. So we are going to mobilize support from the four corners of this country, I mean from across all regions of this country, to come together as, 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 as a unified force, I mean to confront the government, not just the nomination of Fabakari. There are other issues. We need a new constitution. We need a new constitution. You know, the 1997 constitution is not a progressive one. It is not good uh, for, 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 for our, our, our jurisprudence. You know, you have um, so many bad laws. You know, it does not cater for the, for the women of this country. It does not cater for the youth of this country. Youth constitute 65% of the majority of this population. So the, 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 the current constitution does not cater for that. And the, youth, and the women are, 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 are group as well. So we will continue to fight and engage the government constructively. You know, we will engage as part of our engagement we will engage the, uh, the current membership of the National Assembly to see how we can work together to change the status quo, I mean, the, the, uh, as, as we find ourselves. So, I mean, the, it is based on consultation, I mean, the, and, and constructive engagement. So you're still optimistic for justice to be done at all? We are optimistic that justice will be served at the end of the day. Um, um, even President Adam Abaro is not willing to prosecute the IADAM. The international world is ready to prosecute the IADAM. ICC is ready to prosecute the IADAM. <coughs> Today, in Germany, Bailo, a, a jungler, a former jungler, is being prosecuted. You will face justice in a foreign land. If a foreign government can take responsibility and prosecute those that bear the greatest responsibility in atrocity crimes that were committed during the German era, I see no reason why the government of Adam Abaro cannot pursue all these criminals that are at large and bring them to face justice and bring them to face their victims. If, it, if ja Abaro is not ready to do that, we have an international coalition that is behind the victims, that will support the victims, that will, that will um, um, make every effort to make sure that justice is, 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 is served.
Thank you very much. I think this brings us to the end. Thank you very much. We want to thank you very much for coming. Thank you.